Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be creating a safe system using the microbit keypad. Let's start programming. So we're going to be using the keypad program that um, we have created in the last video and the video link is going to be in the description. So let's start initializing our variables. So the first variable that we're going to be creating is password. So this is basically um, where we're going to store our, our password. And we're going to create another variable, which is password entered. So this is basically going to be a, pl a placeholder where we're going to add the user entered password in here. So we click OK. And now we're going to convert it into Python because that's how we're going to code our program today. So before the forever function, we're going to first initialize the password entered password entered variable and that is equal to an empty string and for our uh, and we're also going to be initializing our password variable as just a string of one two three and four the reason I'm doing um, storing these values as a string is because it is easier for us to track the variables when the user ta um, clicks on the buttons on the keypad and it's easier for us to keep on adding on to the password enter variable so now we're going to be um, editing the on forever function. So once the user clicks on number one, we're basically just going to do password entered and we're going to do that is equal to whatever is inside the password entered function plus password entered itself and we're going to add one to the password entered variable. And we're going to copy this and we're going to implement this uh, throughout our program. So instead of one, just be sure to change the values uh, in your program. And now once we're done with our first column, we're going to be moving on to our second column. So it's two, five, eight, and then zero. And you can use these uh, basic touch show number functions to help you guide through um, these functions. And now we're going on to our um, third column. So it's three, six, nine and then the hashtag and then finally we're going so for our four, fourth column we're not going to be doing the same so what we're going to be doing is that when the user clicks on the letter a we're going to validate whether or not the password the user entered is equal to the actual password. So under basic.show string a we're going to do an if else statement where it says if password is is equal to password entered and if that is true then we're just going to show the icon um which is the icon dot icon names dot yes so this is basically a check mark sign and we're going to reset the uh, password entered into a empty string because the reason for this is because if we, this uh, loop is able to be repeatable and if it is not true then we're just going to do basic dot show icon icon and then icon names and instead of no yes then now it's going to be no and then we're just going to again reset the password and as you can see, our program is finally over. And if we transfer it to blocks, here is how our program is going to look like. And when we transfer our program, we may see that um, the password might be uh, um, password enter two. Just be sure that you change these values uh, to um, the original one instead of two so that you don't receive any errors in your program. So here I am changing all of this. 
And now we're on our second column, changing all the values. And we're on number zero. And then finally, we are on our third column. And then lastly, we're going to do, and finally for our fourth column, just make sure that it's password is equal to the password entered, but not password entered to, because the reason for this is that we haven't yet initialized this variable, and you can just delete password entered to. Thank you for watching the video, and see you guys in the next one.